So my next video isn't going to be about that little dilemma. It's going to be a little bit about the Asian perception in multimedia and in the mainstream. And I thought this topic would be really important because it didn't occur to me until last week after I went to an event. How you doing? You might not recognize me, but guess what? That don't even surprise me. Lately, I've been through so much, but as you can see, I ain't lose my touch. Over the week, I went to an event called Collaboration LA. For the guys and girls who don't know what Collaboration is, Collaboration is an Asian American organization that helps represent all these hidden gems and these really talented people who happen to be Asian American. It's really cool because we have different artists and as well as different guest performances. Like on Thursday when I saw Korean FX, Anderson Pack, and Dumbfounded. I was pretty excited to see all these three people. It was my first time actually seeing my first Asian celeb in the public. So during the event, they showed a trailer called Bad Rap. And what Bad Rap is, is a documentary about four Asian Americans who go around and just try to make it to the mainstream. We have two notable figures that I know of at least, which is Aquafina and Dumbfounded. They go through the struggles on getting to the mainstream. And I thought it was really awesome and cool, so I want to see the trailer again at work. So when I went to work, I was searching it up on YouTube and there was this talk show. And what I liked about this talk show was how, how they were talking about Asian Americans and how they're represented and how, why they're not going big like other ethnicities such as uh, Caucasians and Blacks. I liked about Aquafina's piece during the interview was uh, people being themselves. And I thought it was cool because she's right. However, it didn't sink into me later until later in the day about how I viewed my Asian American idols and I was thinking whoa oh my god I did not actually think about this because the way I like my Asian American idols I was very backwards in how it's supposed to be I liked my Asian American idols because one they're really talented and two that they're Asian American alright so I'm gonna break it down because we don't view a lot of other celebrities as for example, Adam Sandler, Caucasian, comedian, Adam Sandler. We don't see Fluffy as Latino comedian, Fluffy, Gabriel Iglesias. No, I see him as a comedian, Gabriel Iglesias. How I was viewing my Asian American celebs was that they were Asian American. Lucy Liu, Asian American, Jackie Chan, Asian American, Jet Li. That's totally something you should be avoiding thinking about. You should be thinking about these people who are really talented, but they happen to be Asian American. Not the fact that they're Asian American. I want you guys to think about what I said and put that perception into your thinking because we need to push ourselves from the stereotypicalness away from the Asian American status quo and just say that these are just really talented people. We go on the web every day and we see all these famous people, we don't think about their ethnicities. I just happen to thought about the ethnicity in Asian Americans. It's not a bad thing, but if we want to push ourselves to being more accepted into society, we need to push that thinking into other people as well. So, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you like this video, and thank you for listening to my two-piece on Asian American Perspective. Thank you. Bye. These female rappers rapping like they got no sense in them. I'm here like to change it up a bit. I'm hoping I can strengthen them. Like they're not just a single woman to be an Asian girl. There's nothing better than being underestimated. You never see an Asian that's really being innovative ever complain about how unfair it is.